Hi, I'm Vinita Contractor and I'm a holistic nutrition and lifestyle coach. Today we're going to talk about pregnancy and breastfeeding as a vegan. A pregnancy is a life-changing experience for most women and it's very important to take care of your nutrition during this phase. My second pregnancy incidentally was vegan and it's very important that when you're eating, you understand that if you don't take care of your nutrition, the baby is going to leach it out of you in any case. So it's you who's going to be deficient at the end of it. The quality of breast milk is completely dependent on the quality and quantity of the foods and liquids that you have. And of course, your baby's nourishment and overall health is dependent on it. Let's look at what nutrients you need to focus on. The four main ones would be protein, iron, calcium and folate. Protein, as we know, is very important for the baby's growth and its health when you're pregnant as well as when you're lactating. When you're lactating, your requirements are very high in terms of calories and it could be up to three and a half thousand calories per day. So you might end up burning more than you're consuming. So it's very important to get your protein right. And on a plant-based diet, your protein will come mainly from tofu, beans, legumes, sprouts, and whole grains such as buckwheat and amaranth. The next nutrient that we're going to talk about is calcium. Calcium is extremely important during the pregnancy and the breastfeeding stage. The best sources of plant-based calcium would be dark leafy green vegetables, tahini, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, figs, beans, fortified soy milk and so many others, but it's important to consume enough. Iron needs are much higher during pregnancy because of the increase in the amount of blood in the mother's body. Some plant-based sources of iron would be dark leafy greens, dry fruits such as raisins, dates, pomegranate, beetroot, nuts and seeds. The next nutrient is folate. Natural sources of folic acid are nuts, beans, legumes, white pumpkin and green leafy vegetables. There are also these micronutrients that you need to focus on. Vitamin A, B6, B12, C, D, DHA and iodine. Now let's quickly go over how you can get these nutrients as well. Now remember they are micronutrients. The main ones were the ones we discussed earlier. These are in smaller quantities but very very important. Vitamin A you get through yellow and orange fruits and vegetables such as carrots, pumpkin, papaya and tomatoes. B6 you get from whole grain cereals and bananas. B12 is not naturally found in plant-based sources so supplementation is the best option. Fermented foods, nutritional yeast or plant-based yogurts do contain B12 in small quantities but like I said supplementation is the best idea. Vitamin C you can get through citrus fruits, broccoli, tomatoes, strawberries, guava and a whole lot of other fruits. The best source for vitamin D is sunlight. So it's best for pregnant women to spend some amount of time in sunlight every day as well as take a supplement by consulting a doctor because high doses of vitamin D can be toxic. DHA can be found in walnuts, flax seeds, chia seeds and hemp seeds. Iodine can be easily found in iodized salt. So it's a good practice for pregnant women to consume iodized salt along with other natural salts on a regular basis. To summarize, to be a vegan while you're pregnant or breastfeeding, if you pretty much consume whole grains, legumes, vegetables, fruits, nuts and seeds, you're pretty much covered. Now moving on to calorie needs. Yes, our calorie needs do increase when we are pregnant or breastfeeding, but not that much. You don't literally have to eat for two. In fact, it's important to not consume a lot of empty calories which are there in refined foods or sugar laden foods. You should also consult with your doctor to find out exactly how much weight you really need to put on to have a healthy pregnancy. Remember to include foods which are known to stimulate production of breast milk, such as watercress seeds, fenugreek seeds, almonds, etc. Production of breast milk is dependent directly to the amount of fluids that you consume in a day. So make sure you're consuming at least four liters of fluids in the form of water, soups, dals, juices, smoothies, etc. 
A healthy pregnancy and a successful breastfeeding journey is very much possible on a plant-based diet. Just take care that your nutrients are on point, you're supplementing well, you're resting and hydrating properly, and it's all very much doable. I hope you found this video useful and stay tuned for more.